Greetings everyone, my name is Altarion and welcome to Buster Fellows. Guys, especially for you, I decided to try an Otome game. It is apparently a steamy, misty, mystery, murder, mystery, English today. It's a steamy murder mystery um, about a female detective with a, a couple of special powers and some very handsome hunks. Uh, for those who know this game, for those who do not know this game, uh, apparently we can only share with you online up to chapter one as for the game itself ask for us not to spoil anything beyond chapter one so that's what we will do we will respect it and we'll only try chapter one guys let's see quite excited what this is all about That's a handsome guy. The police station visiting room is covered in dust and reeks of mold. And a man is sitting down and throws his legs up on the table. <laughs> so funny. Oh. He's got that um, very sensual voice. I cannot uh, copy that. But I, uh, you know, I will not no, normally a voice act over all this stuff. But um, I think we will... I won't do justice to his voice. I guess we all can read. And you, Limbo, the crooked lawyer. I didn't understand a single thing, but I love it. You know, for, you know I, I will just read, but I won't voice act. Look, buddy, if you're gonna ask me to defend you, don't start by calling me a crooked lawyer. It stinks. <laughs> uh, you're not allowed to bring food and drinks here. <laughs> For real? I'm sorry, I'm, I'll just finish this real quickly. <laughs> no, I mean, you're not allowed to eat in here. <laughs> there we go, food's gone. Where do we go now? Are we good now? Jeez, just call me if anything happens. What time is it? I mean, I like his... What's on his... What's on his shoes? Made in Italy. Urbando. By... Giovanni... By Giovanni Urbando. <laughs> I like his pants and I've uh, got matching uh, shirts, which is nice. I like his golden. Um, it's not a tie. It's a. Uh, yeah, it's, it's some sort of tie. I know what it is, but uh, it's a scarf, it's like a scarf type of thing. Nice guy. Guy I remember hearing in the evening news on the electric billboard, so it's probably around 5 p.m. now, just a little longer. Limbo grimaces suspiciously. He still doesn't know why I'm here. In 30 minutes, you're going to die at Central Core. I don't know if you get stabbed or shot, but either way, you'll die at Central Core. <laughs> Eh, should make your jokes a little bit funnier, you know? This is a joke, listen to me. I thought we are having a, a male voice. Aren't we supposed to be a... I called you here because I thought you might survive. If you're not here at that point in time... I'm sorry, but if you're thinking of going with an insanity defense, that's against my policy. I'll get you ruled innocent without petty tricks. Assuming you're worth it? No, listen. I, I, I'm not this man. 
What was this man's name again? Oh, never mind. Anyway, I'm not this man. I'm actually. Already like it, guys. So you hold in the Ekitainara, bet no Bengosho. It's such a shame we cannot show this or share this past chapter two. Ah, oh, this this is an awesome game. So split personalities, huh? This associative identity disorder, yeah. Again, if there's an angle you're going for, look for another lawyer. Please, <laughs> you don't have any time, just hear me out. Are you the type to talk to the screen while you're watching a movie? <laughs> no, I keep my mouth shut when I watch a movie. Doesn't mean I won't talk out of if it's a boring flick. <sighs> Listen, my name is. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, nice. I can choose a name. Teita, Teita. I like it. Yeah, let's let's leave it. Teita. <gasps> what is this? Oh, I, do, I understand nothing. Symbols. Yeah, we accept it. Why not? Teita. Teuta, Teuta. わたしの名前はテウタ。テウタ。アソム。マネムステウタ。テウタ。お前の名前はなんだっけ?ドミンゲスだろ。テウタ。ん。私の名前は何を言ってるかわからないだろうけど、あなたは私の目の前で確かに
a handsome hunk. And he spots you're dissatisfied with. The, ring the wrinkles around my eyes stand out, but I heard working too much on them makes them uglier when you get old, so I'm being a little bit conscious about it. Every Look at his eyes. Jesus, he's, he's got that hypnotizing eyes. You're the one looking at yourself in the mirror every day. There's no such thing as being too conscious. Maybe making your lips a bit thicker is a good idea. So this is a plastic um, surgeon. That's very erotic. I'm going to skip reading that. I'm going to skip reading that. I like that his name, Helvetica, has a pink line going out in a bullet. Poof. Don't worry, I'm, uh, I'm always on your side. Shouldn't be afraid of being beautiful. Couple of uh, lines read, steamy. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing voice acting. Even as a muffled voice. The less the lacerations were <laughs> the lacerations were inflicted post mortem. The only wounds that were inflicted pre death were the ulna and radius. Fractures on the phalanx and matacarpal. Mata well I've never heard of these terms before. <laughs> So this guy is called Mozu. What? Hmm, he look... He, he, the previous one definitely has a... Um, um, oh, persuasive character. This one looks more to be distant, you know? A little bit held back. Uh, respectful, but I think he has a twisted side because I think he, he works in the morgue. <laughs> you broke your bones before you were burnt, right? Hmm, I know it's hurt, but... Wouldn't have been enough to kill you, so tell me, how did you die? <laughs> Chief's talking to the corpses again. Yeah, is, he, is he expecting it to answer? If he asks it how he died? <laughs> if you don't think it's going to Awesome. No, he definitely um, he definitely doesn't uh, let let others toy with him. If you think I can't hear you, go to the ENT department. If you expect that the corpse to answer me, then go to the ps psychiatric ward. Either way, hospitals that way. Nice, good job, man. Shoot. Sure. Are we, getting, are we getting introduced to all the potential husbands right off the bat? Shoo. Sorry. Teach taught me never to leave a chance for revenge. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I love his voice. That cool, reserved, badass. This is definitely a gangster. No one gets to pick the day to die. Today's a good day as they come, isn't it? Weather's nice, traffic's good. Ma, more ah, guess you can't hear me anymore, huh? <laughs> I believe the statement of the defense witness gave implies involvement in the crime. You took part in this murder. That dude got balls interrupting the judge. Limbo. Oh, yeah. 
That's the that's the guy we met at the beginning without his white uh, scarf, uh, without his white vest. Objection! I'm the one questioning this witness at the moment, not you, Your Honor. Do you have anything to hide? This courtroom does not look upon prejury lightly. There's a difference between lying and holding your tongue. Are you familiar with the Fifth Amendment, Your Honor? The attorney will be quiet. This is a murder case. I call for a recusation of the judge. What? I ought to have you held in contempt of the court. And making light of the right to remain silent isn't in contempt of the court? This guy knows his job very well. Ah, this courtroom is to be suspended until tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. We've got another hunk potential hubby. Thirty to have you kept to. <clears throat> Sorry to have you kept waiting, it's Scarecrow here. Got good news, bad news, and worse news. What do you want to hear first? そんなの、さっさと引っ越しなさいよ。夜寝てる間に天井が抜けて落ちてきたらどうすんのさ。そうは言っても大変なの。入居した時の契約にあれが入ってたとか入ってなかったとかで、むしろ修理費用を負担し
I think he said more than he just written, no? Well, <laughs> it's then that I suddenly hear Adam's voice from nearby, TV. It's probably the evening news. I mean, it's nothing, it's not exactly stringling to make ends meet. He can lend you a little money. Adam Krilov. His family runs a large corporation in Russia. But he chose not to inherit the family business and works as a popular celebrity in the new scene. What? Are you still holding on to the photo? Yeah, we're all so adorable. Okay, this is uh, Tueta, this is Luca, and this is Adam. Okay, the three of us were childhood friends. We grew up in the same neighborhood, went to the same school. Luca is a cop. Adam's a newscast and I'm a journalist. Hmm. Okay, my older brother was why I chose this career. Six years ago, my brother died. He was a cop, and as he spent time in the most gruesome crime scenes, his spirit cracked somehow. Parts of body found in the abandoned barn believed to be the missing man. Body found in a bon abandoned bar in Buffalo Bill. Police discovered the parts of human body on Sunday evening after a search was launched following the discovery of what was thought to be Zora Bridges' belongings. A post-mortem investigation was due to take place tomorrow. Ugh. Before I knew it, he changed into someone else. My brother disappeared into a world of drugs and gangs, and soon enough, he really did vanish. How did you get killed? Oi! Kitaru! Mosh mosh! I became a freelance journalist, frantically spending my days hunting for scoops. My weekly column is definitely not gonna be enough to cover my moving fees though. She is. She's a good friend, I can like, clearly see it. <laughs> this is ground control, come in, come in. Oh, what were we talking about? What? What? Wait, what? Did you do your um, time hopping shtick again? No, 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 I was just thinking, you know, about my moving fees and, and my moving fees and uh, my moving fees. Okay, 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 we do have powers. If only that power of yours was a bit more convenient, you could, you know, like go back before you signed the lease of that crumpy apartment. If I could do that, I wouldn't be having this headache. I can go back in time, but I'd be someone else's shoes. Like some old man's body. And it's not like I can go that far back in time. She has time traveling powers. Convenient or not, you still don't know how you can do it, right? Adam's worried about you, you know? He thinks it's some neurological disease or something. Fine, I'm fine. Besides, Adam saluted an appointment for me a while back. Not that I asked for it, but the psychologist gave me a detailed exam back then. Well, I have to say, I'm still half in doubt about this whole thing, but I'm worried about you, alright? Hmm? Thank you. Ah, sorry, it's my phone. Right, let's see. What's this time? Uh, again? Luca takes out her cell phone and her brows furrow the moment she opens the text messages. What's wrong? Limbo, that's what, the crooked lawyer, keeps getting in the way of an investigation. The prosecutor won't stop nagging because of him, he's a nuisance. Limbo, 
Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Limbo Fitzgerald. A famous attorney in the new siege. And he's not just a lawyer, he's a cooked lawyer. He can get an innocent verdict for any case, no matter the incriminating. And by legal means and that, seeing him at work is thrilling. And he's been seen as a hero. <laughs> this guy is super popular. I've been trying to go after him for a while, hoping I could get an interview out of him. Are you seriously trying to write an article about that guy? I mean, you know what they call him? The defender of the week and all that. So, that's that's a good, good lawyer. That's the part that pisses me off, you know? There is a lot of absurd uh, stuff the police just has to put up with. And he just dances all around. The right thing to do doesn't always lead to happy endings. Ah, there we go again. Data's philosophical rambling. Luca. Who's that? Oh! Mozuka! Mezrosi no! Anto ga kunna tokoro ni kunna Oh, he's got a nice little thing going uh, on his pocket here. Some sort of uh, medal, or is it just decoration here around his uh, chest pocket? Ah, oh, Mozu! It's not every day to see you around here. It's got those yellow. It's got. It's got Longer hair in the back. Looks like a school kid. They all look like school kids. <laughs> I've got business with you. I thought you were here, so I came by to deliver this. An autopsy report? Huh. I don't remember anything, any urgent cases. It's it's not a big case, but I figured uh, the faster I finished out the the sooner you can bury the body. Oh, you say that, but we still don't know who the victim is. Figuring that out ASAP is your job. The young man, Mozu, speaks indifferently. Yes, yes, I'm going to go. Yeah, 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 we'll work our butts off. Oh, so this is your first time meeting him. This is Mozu, head of the coroner's office. And this is Teta, my friend of mine, a freelance reporter. Head of an office? Looks pretty young. That's what I said, it looks so young. Nice to meet you. Same here, hello. I extend my hand for a shake, but he doesn't take it. Did I do something awkward? He keeps staring at me for some reason. <laughs> Uh, can I help you? Yeah, I don't know. That's a very awkward way of complimenting someone. Wow. <laughs> I just think you have a very good skeletal structure. Your skeletal framework is Caucasian, but your eyes focus are smooth, and the cavities are quite fair. なんか素直にありがとうって言いづらいんですけど。あ、な。なあ、話になっちゃう。That <laughs> That doesn't do it for me. Weird fellow, isn't he? But he's a certified genius. The youngest head of the coroner's office in history. A real professional when it comes to corpses. Uh, I'm not, a not so sure that's a positive title to hold. Oops, almost time for me to get back to work, so, uh, uh, the bill's here. Luca takes a coin and flicks it in the air, catching it on her palm. Heads or tails? Heads. 
It's really it. Yes. Yes. The Queen Lucas hand shows it. You didn't go back in time or redo this, did you? <laughs> if I could do that, you'd be paying the tab every time. Luca pulls out money from a wallet and places on the slip. So yeah, Oh yeah, you mentioned coming to the station late, right? Something about an interview. So so. Oh yeah, I've got a little bit of time before I was supposed to be there. Never met them before, but they asked me for an interview. Smells like a scoop. So that's good. I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to go out of here. Oh, that's right. Do Right, I hope so. Uh, I'll be going out after this, so we'll probably see each other the, tonight. Oh yeah, wanna bet if Adam's gonna be late? He'll be late. <laughs> no point in betting, huh? Who is this Adam? Is that another hunk we have not been introduced to? Luca goes back to the police station. Friday afternoon. There's a faint air of excitement to the city. They say writers walk to look for ideas. I've got a lot of things to investigate. There is that weird site. Full circle. All the information on it is unreliable rumors. Seeking in new siege. Email Cody. Make agenda. Irina Krakowski. 3 p.m. NSPD. People's Magazine. Full circle. Who is the owner? Fashion Week! Call, move, or get estimate packing. What's that? It's Limbo! Limbo Print Grilled! Oh, this paparazzi! I spot a man in a white coat standing in the middle of the crowd. He's surrounded by reporters. The camera's flashing at him non stop. Maybe you can at least give him a business card. Alright. Mrs. Limbo! Mr. Limbo! A large cameraman pushes me away and I can't quite get close to him. It's an attorney's job to believe a client when they say they're innocent, even if, the, even if they know the client's guilty. Can we take this as you admitting that your client is guilty? Forget all that. If I let the truth drag me down, I wouldn't be able to work as a lawyer. Mrs. Sloan is apparently terribly irritated by you. Sorry, I. Sloan, you take it. Lawyers who are going to be a lawyer are the most hated people. They are the ones who are going to be the most hated people. They are the ones who are <laughs> that's good. You can tell Sloan this. The best lawyer you can hire is a lawyer you hate. That way, he'll put your opponent through the same pain. Can I ask you one more question? No, 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 it's enough, snuff. My poor burrito is getting cold. See ya. Limbo slips past the reporters and walks off, stuffing his cheeks with a burrito. Now! Fitzgerald. <laughs> Funny, I love it. Excuse me, Mr. Limbo. Limbo Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Mm, what is it? Uh, ex ex excuse me, I'm a, I'm a freelance reporter and I'd like to ask for an interview. Ah, stop, stop. Wari, ore, totsgek shuzai te kirai nanda. Sore ni ima, yaksoku no jikan ni don pisha na wake. Okay, okay. Hold your horses. I hate surprise interview, okay? Plus, I've got an appointment now. Sorry. Wait! Bye-bye! It's not often you see young reporters jot things down in notepads. All analog like that, though. Kinda like that. Anyway, bye-bye. He swiftly takes off, takes out a business card. And I accept it. And Limo walks off with a smile. 
Limbo Fitzgerald, criminal defense attorney. The law office of Limbo Fitzgerald. No guilty. <laughs> no guilt. He's gone. The law office of Limbo Fitzgerald. Huh? Phone number is 1800. No guilt? No sense of guilt. Talk about classy. I should call him up later and negotiate in an interview. Yeah. Yeah. Hotel Halsey. <sighs> oh, it's Shu. Shu leans, ag Shu leans against the chair backrest in an empty restaurant, blowing cigarette smoke into the air. The ashtray in front of him is full of cigarette butts. Limbo, Cezo. Sure, late Limbo. I'm sorry, I got to stop by the strange reporter outside. So take a seat next, as I take a seat next to him, Shu tosses a small box at me. <gasps> Am I just following him? What's this? What? Wait, let's go up. As I take a seat next to him, but I. What I? Did we skip time? Are we? Are we limbo? <sighs> okay. A bone conduit, Mike. Scarecrow, send it. Stick it behind your ear. It's picking up a conversation right now too. Shu answers, pointing at the back of his ear. Inside the box is a small skin-colored sticker, a spy tool, as it were. Stick it behind my ears instructed and detect a faint moment of static. Mm, mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hello, this is White House speaking. Do you read? Scarecrow speaking, I hear you loud and clear. Incidentally, I can see you two as well. I've got display security cameras under my control. What's with all this pretentious wording? Oh, come on, I'm setting the mood. Doesn't it feel more natural this way? Nah, boss. Say, boss, you're really coming? Oh my god, look at these two. I like Limbo's taste of outfits, but I like these guys as well, kind of, you know, black gloves, because he's, um, he's a criminal, no, leaving no fingerprints, a vest, an open shirt, revealing a little bit of that chest muscles, a little pecs. Should be there soon. Uh, he, uh, well, he was contacted by him. I mean, her. Besides, he's panicked. He's got no one to turn to us. Two but us. Hi, hi, Kanojo, ne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, fine. We'll wait. Turn my eyes to the entrance. Man accompanied, accompanied by a pretty woman approaches the table. There's no target number one, Orlando, a small fry mobster. Yo, Orlando. Hey there, Orlando. Brought another cutie today, I see. Is that her talking? Or no? Then Scarecrow will explain we don't have time for chit-chat. Calm down, man. Even I need to feel the situation out before I take a job. You don't know the situation I'm in. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he told you to chill, come on. People are staring at me. Calm, I'm calm. I mean, uh, I'm calm. Uh, come on, calm down. 
オルテガはギャングどもの金を洗ってる俺はそいつの下で働いてその金を盗んだんだオルテガからもギャングからも命を狙われてるんだぞ Listen オルテガ was laundering money from the mob I was working under him and stole that money Now both オルテガ and the mob are out to waste me Well that's your own fault だってオルテガは銀行の頭取だぞそんなのが相手となると俺も緊張しちゃうからな不安なら警察に司法取引を持ちかけたらどうだ I mean, Ortega is the president of the bank. Even I'd be nervous going up against him. Who that scared? Why not bargain with police? 警察なんか当てになるかよ裏じゃギャングとだってつながってるような奴らだ I can't count on them. Some of them have connections with the mob. 俺たちも善人とは言えないけどな I like that dude. He's so chill. Like he's so chill. So chill the shoe. Sure. Well, it's not like we're saints or anything. You'll work as long as you're paid, right? Like he's the one to talk, the crook. Being affiliated with him makes me feel guilty. Well, not gonna lie. But money is not the only thing we work for. I know, I know you want dirt in Ortega, right? Orlando pulls out a tablet and holds up a screen in front of us. There was a list of names and sums. This is information on、uh, Ortega. All the money he laundered from his clients. Dore, Dore. Hmm. Let's see, that's not all of it, isn't it? Did you send it over to Scarecrow? Yep, got it. Oh, that's right. I'll send you the other half of the data when you get me a new passport and a flight ticket, and I'm in Mexico. Fine, sure, sure, sure. What about the money? I'll already deposit the advance payment. I'll have this woman deliver the rest. Understood. Okay, we'll exchange the money for the passports. See you then, Missy. Don't listen. Keep your wits about you, or take us and hitmen after me. My life's on the line here. So, Richa, go again, yo. Good evening, then. Bye bye. What a player. That woman just had the best voice acting lines ever. She moaned, said, ah, and bye bye. The president of a bank of New Siege, involved in a money laundering scandal. Getting paid for exposing other people's dirty laundry sure is fun, guys. Scarecrow, Hey, Scarecrow, how about you stick out your neck for a chance? Staying indoors all day is bad for your health. <laughs> I'm the boss of the underworld, a man who manipulates everything from the shadows. No, hang on. What happened? He did. Maybe the moment we went outside, the car closed in us. They shot him. Is this, no, is this still chapter one? This is still chapter one. That's good. That's good. That's good. I do not want to be overstepping the boundaries here. I saved. Is this still. This is chapter one. It says chapter one. Good. We can continue. We can continue. Just making sure, guys. Just making sure. Just making sure. The pedestrians around us keep their distance like someone's drawn a line in the streets. She kneels next to the man and checks his pulse. He's dead. I wasn't kidding when they said they were hitmen after him. You see, that's why I don't go outside. Ah, Moshi Moshi, Kesatsu! 
ホテルホール G の前で人が死んでますよそうそうそのホール G <笑> I love it man that guy is amazing Hello, hello, please.、Uh, someone died in front of Hotel Halsey. Right, right, right. Hotel Halsey. Bank of New Sieg no Todori to Monareva. Udeno e Korosia o Yato da Rona. Orega Carander no more barter da Rossi. Antamo Kyoskero, Urasia Kai no boss. Bank of New Sieg president probably has some skilled hitmen. And they probably knew we're involved as well. I take good care of our you, Mr. Underworld boss. Simpai Iranai. Not to worry, not to worry. I'm sitting in a fortress of unmatched security.、Uh, give me a second, I got another transmission. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage again. Here's a delivery from Tart Pizza. He, his security is so easily breached with, with the pizza delivery guy, he can get shot right now. <sighs> うーん、バンゴなし。うん、あれだ、フレムラ。誰だ ?Where <笑> What to do? Entertainment, crime, new siege. Come up with a direction for my article. Hmm. Double checking. Okay, we are still in chapter one, which is good. Which is good. We're not overstamping boundaries. But I think we will end this episode at here, guys. I loved it so far. It's an amazing game, amazing voice acting. I love all the characters, how weird they can be. Um, drop down the comments down below, guys, who you think is the perfect hubby for our female protagonist. I'm kind of leaning more towards Shu because I like his、uh, gangster, you know,、uh, gangster behavior, chill voice, you know, shooting someone, another day at the office kind of attitude.、Uh, yeah, <laughs> something like that.、Uh, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a good day, everyone.